Hey, what's up everybody? Joe Bernstein here. Been a while, but I'm back making some videos. I want to share with you an experience that one of my coaching clients is having. Uh, it's a new, he's a newer client. Um, and what I want to lay out for you is, is this is a guy who has had reached high levels of success in commercial real estate. He's a principal of a real estate company and uh, he's made a ton of money doing what he's doing. So much so that in fact, he bought a, a plot of land and he's building an entire home all cash for him and his fiance. That's the type of financial abundance this guy has created for himself. So as we're going through his work, some of his work is to decide how is he going to get more fulfillment out of his current role that he's really successful in, or what is he going to do for a next step, for a new business, for a second stage in his career. And as we're working through it, one of the things that he came up on big time was that he has a value, a personal value that's part of his core belief system around freedom. And his whole life, he's thought that freedom was simply freedom of choice. So he's put himself, he's strived, he's worked his ass off, he's bled, sweat, and cried, if you will, into this company to create this financial success for himself. So now he has freedom of time to a certain extent. He can go into the office when he wants to, he can travel when he wants to, there's key meetings he has to be at, but he can make his own schedule. Uh, he has freedom of resources. He can spend money going to wherever he wants to go to. He flew to, uh, to Peru for a few weeks to go do ayahuasca in the jungle. You know, like I said, he can buy whatever car he wants. He can build homes. He can hire coaches. So he's got freedom financially. He's got a great person in his life that he's uh, committed to, his fiance. He speaks very highly of her. It sounds like they've created a wonderful relationship. But what he came to realize was that freedom of choice and freedom of options of how he spends his time, energy, and money is not freedom when he still has some sort of shame and guilt about the choices he's making, when he's still focused on what he should be doing, how he should be spending his time. The one we unraveled today was eight hours. He had this idea that he's not giving his all to his current company if he's not spending eight hours a week, eight hours a day in the office, eight hours of focused, productive work. Now we know that's somewhat unrealistic for most of us, but it took him going through an experiment, pushing into an eight hour work day, really committing, to realize it was arbitrary. When he was actually providing value is when he felt freedom, true freedom. So this is what I want to challenge you with. If you have freedom of choice in your life, if you can choose how you'd spend your time, energy, and money, and you're still not fulfilled, check into how you associate to those freedoms. Are you still holding guilt, fear, shame about what you should be doing, about the choices that you make? If you are, you're not free. And it's time to make some choices to look at that and to take action that helps you have true freedom. Now, I help people with that. I love doing my work. I was reminded today again of how much joy I have in helping people. So if you want more freedom, now real freedom, freedom inside of yourself, then I want you to reach out. I'm not saying I sell that, but I'm saying I can help you get there. So now you have a choice. Stay worth where you're at with the ruminating thoughts, with being dissatisfied even though you have a lot of opportunity and access to resources in front of you, or reach out and let's talk. Now's the time. Talk to you soon. Peace.